Okay, this I already showed you. This is fill in with the paint bucket tool. Here I'll fill in, I'll make a layer, and I'll pick a color, and I will fill in, and it'll fill in with a color. I'll hit undo, step backward. Another place to go backward is to locate your history. If you remember in preferences, you had the history set to 20 steps, so you could go 20 steps backward. Okay, uh, also here is the gradient tool. The gradient first, the first selection for the gradient is the foreground and background, see? And these are the different choices of the gradients. Now I, I have an empty layer here to practice with the gradients. I always like to do it on an empty layer because I can change the transparency or opacity of it. So right now I have these two colors and this is a linear. I'll go left to right and see I can change it, make it lighter. I can go back and then I can try again and go right to left for my gradient. I can back up on my history and this is radial, center out, and then I can go out center. And back up. And this is an angle gradient. Undo. So you can play with the gradients to see what they do and back up and you know keep dragging from another angle so you can see what they do and how they react and you can also with your gradient make a shape if you want here and fool with your gradients like in the shape see or you can undo and make another one Oops. Make another one. You see? So you can fool around with your gradients that way, with your shapes. And uh, this you have to be very, very careful. This is the custom shape tool. Very careful. Students usually start using this tool and they get in trouble because they don't realize that it's set on for vector over here. If you use this custom shape tool at all with the rectangle, all of these shapes here, make sure that your tool option bar has it set right here on fill pixels. If it's on shape layer or if it's on paths, you'll get in trouble. Okay, so this is what will happen usually. Student doesn't know it's on shape layer usually and they go in and they say oh I want to use one of these shapes and they go like this and this is what happens on your uh, layer palette okay you get this shape here if this happens you've used the vector tool by mistake and we didn't get to that yet so what you can do to change it or to fix it you can always do undo but another way to fix it is to right click on the right side of your palette and select rasterize layer and then it changes back to pixels. So if you click the shape tool make sure that you have this third button selected fill pixels and then you can go in and select all of these different shapes that are here. Here we are. We've got all these shapes. You have all these different shapes that you can play with. Like this. You can make new layers for the different shapes if you want. See, you have this different shape. Now I can take this shape that I have, I can put my transform tools on, and I can now I have to see how is this shape going to be transformed. I'll look at the shape that I made and it looks like it's maybe it might be two colors. I'm not sure. It doesn't look like it's exactly one color. 
but I think that I have my pre yes it's by cubic you see so I think my preferences are set to by cubic you have to make sure by cubic is something you want to work in because that's what it's going to be here's my preferences yes it's set into by cubic so that means when I transform this and I move this around it's going to be by cubic so I can make another layer I can move it around I can put this in the back and I can go in the corner and I can turn it around and I can make it smaller or bigger or whatever I want to do and it's always going to be by cubic now if I wanted to stick to that ball I would put the ball right under it and I would say merge down one so now it's stuck to that ball so what I to review what I did for you I showed you how to go in how to use the pencil tool the brush tool how to use the airbrush tool and how to put a little shading on something using the airbrush and how to go in and use the shape tool make sure you have the fill pixels and make the different shapes with it including all of these shapes that are here you can put all of these shapes that are here into whatever you are doing okay do not use the vector tools yet we're not at the vector tools yet if you make something vector by mistake which I'll do right now I made something vector by mistake go here on you uh, you don't I showed you before how to do here rasterize layer but you also can go to layer and you can say rasterize uh, layer and you can convert it into pixels